Bayer has saved Arsenal from losing their first match of the UEFA Champions League. And also, Barcelona faced defeat as they lost to Monaco. These are the two um, highlights for today's match. We also have other uh, matches that played out today. This week has been an interesting one in the UEFA Champions League futures. We started from Tuesday down to today, Thursday. 36 teams have played with each other and they are fighting for the first um, eight teams to qualify to the round of 16. This happens to be the new era. This happens to be the new format of the UEFA Champions League. And it has been an interesting one. So let's quickly take um, the results for um, today's fixtures. We have the Barcelona fixtures, um, the Barcelona match. Barcelona played against Monaco and the scoreline is 2-1 um, in favor of Monaco. We have Benfica against um, um, Vieras Zebdeb. I hope I pronounced it very well. The scoreline is 2-1 in favor of Benfica. We also have Fahrenheit against um, Bayern Leverkusen. Bayern Leverkusen, um, they are doing the most. They started on a very good note with four goals in favor of them uh we also have atletico madrid who came from a one goal deficit to level the tie and also to win that particular um match and they played against rb leipzig leipzig um the scores is um two one in favor of atletico madrid we also have um breast and uh Sturam. i really do not know how these two teams find themselves in the champions league where we have um teams like manchester united and also liverpool um lingering in the conference league you didn't hear that for me um i think i've mentioned every fixtures that um, went down today and as it stands um i'm just going to go through what the table looks like right now the table right now in first position, we have um, Bayern Munich. And um, in second position, we have Celtic. Um, in third position, we have Bayern Leverkusen. In fourth position, we have Aston Villa. Fifth position, we have Dortmund. Sixth position, we have Sparta Prague. So, um, seventh position, we have Liverpool. And the eighth position, we have Juventus. So this is how it stands right now in the first phase of the new era of the UEFA Champions League. So quickly, let's dive into what played down with those two matches I, I highlighted from the beginning of this video. And that is the Arsenal match against Atlanta and also Monaco. Let me start with Arsenal. Arsenal, um, looking at the way they played um, coming from the weekend down to today's match, you are going to know that the backbone for them is Odegaard. Odegaard, the absence of Odegaard has made Arsenal squad so very annoying because it looks like um, the players they are bringing in, they have not really had time to really, I don't really know how to say it. They have not really had time to like blend with each other. So I don't want to really write them out right now. I just feel they really need time, but their performance, especially coming from Pate, Pate was very was very wasteful and it was very gullible nice if i'm to use that word with with the way he handled balls and everything i was very happy when um ateta removed him and bringing jogi i was thinking um jogi would do better but it's still more like the same asna was really not at the very best kudos to rea rea did the most by saving that penalty if not by now we are going to be hearing the chance of um, Atlanta. They are going to be coming for the Arsenal squad as they would have lost that particular match. But um, they actually went lucky, just like they were very fortunate um, against Tottenham. But towards the weekend, they are going to be facing um, Manchester City. And this is not what I want them to put on the table. Well, let's leave Arsenal side and let's come to um, the Barcelona side. That is Barcelona versus Monaco. Monaco was coming out. Monaco was um, playing a very good game from the beginning to the end. 
um i want to say um they they were they were uh, more like a bad officiating i was not really um happy and pleased with the kind of officiating that um played out in today's match um i feel like that um um that card that was given um to Garcia should be a yellow card but you know it's more like the last man and that red card was really not was really not what's giving a red card and if you notice immediately that guy left monaco their force became more stronger and they came out to play um barcelona squad and barcelona squad um i really do not know what's really wrong with them because they are not really at their very best and i and i think lemi lamar has been more like their backbone we have Rafinha, we have Lewandowski. Those two people are not really popping this um, time. I really do not know why, but um, kudos to the 17 years old who is making a name for himself. He has find himself also in the list of Ballon d'Or winners. He's going to make history um, 17 years old or even 18 years old. Someone who is not even up to 20 winning that Ballon d'Or. I'm just saying. So this is how we have it for the UEFA Champions um, League week. And uh, guys, let me know what you think about all the matches um, coming from Atletico Madrid. I was even thinking that Atletico Madrid would lose that match, but they came out to win. Um, what do you think? Because looking at this um, first phase of the UEFA Champions League, we have more matches and it's not looking more like you're going to be playing home and away immediately we know people who are going to be going to um the round of 16 the remaining people who will fall from 9 to i think um if i'm not mistaken from 9 to 15 are going to be playing playoff and they are going to try as much as possible to play home and away and the remaining ones are going to like be sent off the tournament what do you think of this particular um era of the UEFA Champions League. Do you think it's going to be interesting? Guys, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.